YouTube thank you so much for joining me and my channel my name is Victoria and today I'm going to share with you a very easy bread recipe that you can make at home that is absolutely delicious for you and your family for the holidays I'm gonna be using my KitchenAid stand mixer you should be able to use any stand mixer, but I'm trying to tell you this KitchenAid has been a lifesaver. Before I purchased this, I was doing the no need bread recipes and even though they came out absolutely amazing, the time that it took was insane. So today I'm going to make this process a lot easier and a lot faster for you to enjoy this homemade fresh bread. So let's get right into it. okay so let's get into the ingredients so this is the dry yeast that i'm using i purchased a two pack from sam's club because i knew i was going to be making a lot of bread for the holidays and so this is two teaspoons and one fourth two teaspoons of salt and then i'm using stevia sugar and i'm using three tablespoons however if you are using regular sugar i would recommend only two tablespoons and I've already measured out my flour. I purchased, again, the big <laughs> tub, so I've been storing it in here. Um, and so in here is three cups. And so only in the beginning, I will show you how we measure it out. But we're going to eventually use the full three cups. But in the beginning, we're not going to use the full three cups at the very start. So let's get to mixing, and I will get ready to use this bad boy. Right, so I just put in the yeast, and then we're going to put in the salt and the sugar. And then we're just going to let this rise for a few minutes. I mean, we're just going to let this mix around for a second. For about one minute. Okay, so next we are going to add in our salt and our sugar. Okay, and we're going to mix this for about one minute. Once this is all mixed, you want to add in your milk. And I'm personally using almond milk, unsweetened. This is why I added the extra sugar in because um, I don't use regular milk. So this is one and one fourth cup of warm milk. So you wanna add that in now. And then I also want to add in two tablespoons of butter. However, I am using garlic butter that I made um the other day and so i'm going to use that instead and to give it some extra flavor garlicky and then you want to let this mix for another minute or two with this regular so once it gets to this stage, you want to remove this hook and you want to replace it. Help if you lower it down. And then you want to replace it with the dough hook. Let's get this off of here. Okay, so once you get the beater hook off, you want to replace it with your dough hook now. And this is when you're going to need that extra flour. So you're going to go ahead and add in the extra half of a cup right here. And let me add that extra little bit in, in a second. We'll see how it does. So 
So you're going to allow the dough hook to mix the dough for you for about two to three minutes, um, maybe longer. It will pull automatically away from the sides and that's when you know that the dough is ready to come out. And I'll show you the consistency next. Okay, so now that it has pulled away from the side, we want to remove the dough hook. And see how easily that popped out? That's what you want. And as far as the dough, it has a nice warm texture. It's not sticky. It's not sticking to my hand at all, right? So next, what you wanna do is you want to allow this to rise double in size. So for the time being, let me put it back in here. I'm going to actually use this bowl right here and I'm going to spray it with a little bit of olive oil. I feel lot. I like to put it in here, add a little bit more flour. So at this point you have your grease bowl and you want to put the lid on and pop it in your proofing space which is my microwave so you're going to leave it in there that's the warmest spot in my house and you're going to leave it in there for one hour to one and a half hours back i am showing you the bread has doubled in size and what you can do is you could just stick your fingers in and see if it indents and that means that it's ready so I have my mat here. I'm just going to sift a little bit of flour out and turn the bread over and see it falls out very easy. And right now I already have the Dutch oven is um, in the oven because what we're going to do is we're going to put this back in the microwave. I mean, well, yeah, back essentially back in the microwave, but it's just going to rise for one more time for about 30 to 45 minutes. And then we're going to put it in the Dutch oven. Okay, so we are back. Our dough is done. The Dutch oven just came out. <clears throat> just gonna flip it one more time. Let me get it all ready for our parchment paper, which I can freeze. The Dutch oven is hot. So I'm just going to use this little tool that I found on Amazon and I'm just going to put a slight design in the bread. I just cut some simple designs in the bread. It should only crack in the areas that I have on here. I think that's enough actually. Put a little olive oil on your hand. I'm just gonna pat it on the top. So it looks like this. And then we're going to take, put our lid on and we're going to bake for 35 to 40 minutes with the lid on and we're going to take the lid off. I'll come back and show you what it looks like and then cook it with the lid off for about 10 minutes and then it will be done. Okay, so this is after being in the oven for 30 minutes. So now we're going to leave it uncovered for 10 minutes and put it back in and it'll brown some more on the top. But it's already looking great. You see where the designs is that I cut? It looks great. Now that our bread is fresh out of the oven, you want to make sure you allow it to cool completely before cutting into it. I waited about 30 minutes, but the smell was so good I couldn't resist. But it was still nice and warm, but cooled off enough for me to cut into it. Wait until you see the inside. 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cut into it so you all can see just how delicious it looks inside. See how soft it is? So good. So good. Enjoy. The bread turned out absolutely amazing, you all. I hope that you make this at home for you and your family for the holidays. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you're looking for more content like this, please consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you all next time. Thanks again and have a wonderful holiday.